admit it, it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the school roof to the outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us, almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal. The people who ignored me or treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that ever happened to me this insane week. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though, to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Ethan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which was probably a good thing. And after all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. Felt so weird to do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax. Right? Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that. Even if I don't feel that every day, heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything, but grateful that Kate didn't jump. What was really odd was when all the students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate and started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school, but like I said, I can't blame everybody and I still don't really know where to point all my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile once she realized how happy everybody was she was alive. I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saying people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. Maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive, though. I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit. I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in the tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. I thought about doing it, then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. <laughs> Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt this would have happened to a Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. There'll be more if this is the last thing I do, which could be if I'm not careful. Can perform since I'm in 11th grade. Oh, hold on a minute. People, my guy is reading more than 11th grade English class. Dude. <laughs> Anna. There, there's a lot of reading going on. I will give you that. After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with my with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better to be treated like a hero at school than like a twee loser. Is that twee? Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Lambert, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me, if I have to keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell, asleep, I fell asleep on my desk and woke up reaching out to, re to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about... Whoa. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be, or my dreams of being a respected global hop globe-hopping photographer, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Look at the butterfly. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do? Which means blowing off my Blackwell homework in to research everything I can to find out about Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It'd be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point. Whoa. 
Is that significant? But at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to the crazy shit. I can barely see the story of the National Gra- I can already see the story of the National Geographic Channel. Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic. The Ar Arcadia Bay Tornado. Charter, speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on the roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students of Blackwell show their support for her with gifts and flowers. Finally. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. Good, he's off campus for a few days. I hope. And like, I'd give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt the tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony, like I'm going to remind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Always alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's store and saw all the nice messages from the other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to the roof. Everybody always cares about it when it's too late. Yes! Mmm! Everybody always cares when it's too late. Like, mm, think about that, friends. Um, if any of you know, uh, Serial Gamer TV. Uh, he's a buddy that uh, I've done a couple collabs with. Um, he's in the UK. Uh, he plays early morning for the US. Um, usually around like 10 in the morning, my time. Uh, but he's a pretty cool dude, and uh, he, he raps, and he's really good. I like his music. Um, a lot of it is on my playlist for the stream. Um... I would say uh, he recently just wrote a song about that exact situation. Everybody always cares after it's too late. And uh, it's really good. I He posted a link in his Discord. Um, I don't remember if it's on SoundCloud or where it's at. Um, I think his name is Kane on SoundCloud. K-A-I-N. Um, I can't remember. Um, so if you're interested in seeing it here, I'll, I'll put a link in, uh, in Twitch. Um, and if you're interested in hearing it, go, uh, check Serial Gamer TV out, send him a message, um, say, hey, Vasive sent me over to listen to the song. I don't remember what it's called. Um, just say something like, uh, how everybody cares after it's too late. And why isn't my shout out command working? That's not cool. Hold on a minute. Let's try it again. Where's my. Whoa, I just got a bunch of messages. Holy crap! I just got a flood of messages from you guys. Hold on a minute. Still remember the entire story of line of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? <laughs> Being Romeo sh the entire time sure did suck. <laughs> I didn't play role because I was a sh shy thing at the time. I never liked uh, the plays. Yeah, I felt like I didn't really care about, you know, it's not like anybody understand what was going on. I knew it was going on, but I didn't know why they would act that way. What time is it where you are, Vasive? Um, right now, it is 9 p.m. for me. Why is my shout-out command not working? Because my bot is disconnected from my channel. Dang it! My bot has been disconnected this whole time. That's lovely. Hold on a second. 
That means some stuff didn't actually happen. Crap. Fun. All right. I'll be your shout out command. <laughs> there you go. Now it's working. All right, bot is connected. That's annoying. So a lot of stuff wasn't actually happening. That's why the freaking uh, alerts weren't going off when people dropped into chat. Jeez, I can figure that out either. All right. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in hearing that song, Go send him a message or whatever. Say Vasev sent you and you're interested in hearing that song. Um, but it's exactly about that. Everyone only cares after it's too late. In this case, we'll see the people are on her side. Finally, I hope I can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. Uh -huh. Alright, message. Oh, I got a bunch of messages. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again of how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool. And I'd love to reward you with dinner and escape to a planet of apes. No pressure, truly. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? And then, uh, I thought I said I had three people sending messages. There it is. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore. Femi Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Come at me, bro. I'm not scared of you. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We're proud of you for saving this girl and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, right, mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. I swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our black world here. I miss your voice. We're very proud. So milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway. Okay. We love you, Maxine. Aw. Stuff from the fams. Yeah, old English is like learning a new language. A lot of their insults were great though. I'll say that. I feel like I'm supposed to find something here and I'm just not seeing it. Maybe not. Okay. Hopefully he's not right out the door. I'm scared one of these times I'm going to open that and he's going to be right there. There's a squirrel! Hey, squirrel friend. Not girlfriend. Squirrel friend! Can I feed you again? Nope. Squirrel friend! Creepy noises going around everywhere. Squirrel. Can't interact with them this time. That freaked me out. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please, please don't destroy me. me. Why are these Maybe off? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. That feels super ominous. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. What's that? Don't need to sit down. Whoa. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Is he drunk? Somebody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? Ow. What a day. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Yeah, it's their mistakes, not yours being the, you know, the overseeing fucking faculty member that doesn't give a shit about anyone. Oh, no problem. Lurk away, my man. All right. How do I? I need to get him off of that step, bro. Now I feel like there's gonna be something in here that I can use. Suddenly. 
Look. Me not. Nothing here. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. He didn't see anything. I'm literally I inside a tools. different room. How could he have seen me? I found a bug. I found a bug. I feel like I should reverse time. Because it's going to count as me being seen or something. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're huh. not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Prince. Sabrina! Wells. How's it going? I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just need oh, to dude, you missed a field trip. No, no explanations. You missed seeing a field trip. Up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Yeah, that was, uh... That was quite the endeavor. Alright, I'm gonna sit on this bench, because I can actually in interact with it. I don't know what it's gonna do for me. I feel so... giddy. Even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. That's what I was just gonna say. But I feel kind the of adrenaline and nerves. Now. That's adrenaline. I think this is just one of the situations where you just kind of sit. Oh no, I meant you missed uh, what happened in sh the stream with the chat and everyone seeing what happened. Ugh. I didn't like that interaction oh, at wait, all. However, Maybe I could if, if you want, you can always watch it later door. as well. So It's not like it's off the interwebs. X, hello. I'm trying! I don't know how to get past... Dude, can I go back in here? No. Hmm. Oh. That light's off. How do I turn this light off? Okay, I can't walk around like that. Can I? Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your Damn dorm. It. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was oh, trying to open the door. He was trying to open a door, okay. Hurry up and stand up. He's still sitting down. Holy cow. He's still sitting down. There we go. 